Okay, boys and girls, get your decodable book called Feel. Decodable book number 18. Get it and lay it on a flat surface and you can listen as Mrs. Wood is reading. Pause this if you need to go and get your book. The author is Tamara Williams, illustrated by Laura Logan. Let's take a picture, walk through your book. Turn the pages and look at the pictures. What do you see on the first page, page three? I see some boys and girls. It looks like they are playing. Maybe they're at school. I see a fan there, so they're probably inside. And it looks like it might be hot. I see a little girl who's sitting on a mat and her cheeks are red. And it looks like she's got sweat droplets. I turn to the next page and I see the, uh, I think it's a little boy instead of a little girl. I see a little boy and again, he has more sweat droplets. He looks sad. And then I see on page five, a little girl coming his way. And page six, he looks like he's really hot again. And I know that's how I felt before. My face will be really red and sweat will be coming down. Page seven, he's watching another boy and girl play. This is a longer book today. Page eight, he's still looking at them. Page nine, he's watching. Let's stop right there and go back and read our book and see what our book is going to be about. Feel. You can either put your finger on my word, on my finger, under the words on your screen, or follow along in your book. Put your finger under there, though. Pam and Bob hop past Bill. Bill did not hop. Hop, Bill, said Pam. I am hot, said Bill. Sam and Tom spin past Bill. Bill did not spin. Spin, Bill, said Sam. I am still hot, said Bill. Dot and Al tap past Bill. Bill did not tap. Tap, Bill, said Dot. I am hot, 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 said Bill. I am not hot, said Bill. I can hop, spin, and tap. Now, who were the characters in our story? Yes, the most important character was Bill. And what was Bill's problem in our story? Yes, he was very hot. But how was that problem solved? Yes, the teacher put a, turned on the fan and he was standing in front of the fan and he got cooled off. Have you ever been hot and gotten in front of a fan and cooled off? There were some other characters in our story, Pam and Bob, and then Sam and Tom, and then we don't know her name, but I think this was, oh, Al, Dot and Al was in our story, but this is probably the teacher, I think. Maybe the PE teacher because she has a whistle around her neck. Where do you think the story takes place? Where is the setting? Yes, the setting is probably at school and probably in the gym. That is where the story takes place. When do you think the story takes place? That's part of the setting. 
Yes, probably during the daytime because we know we usually go to school during the day. Let's go back to page three and I want you to use your voices and read. This is how we become better readers is by reading sentences and reading stories and thinking about what happens in the stories. It is very, very important that you use your voice and read. Okay, read with me. Pam and Bob hop past Bill. Bill did not hop. Hop, Bill, said Pam. Now let's look there. Remember what these marks right here were called? They were called quotation marks. And everything in between is the words that Pam said. Hop, Bill. That's what she is telling him. Read with me. Point her finger under the word. I am hot, said Bill. Sam and Tom spin past Bill. Yes, there's some harder words in our story today like spin and pass. You need to practice these so you can read them nicely. Put your finger under the words and read with me. Let me hear your voice. Bill did not spin. Spin, Bill said Sam. I am still hot, said Bill. Dot and Al tap past Bill. Bill did not tap. Tap, Bill, said Dot. I am hot, 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 said Bill. I am not hot, said Bill. He feels much better, doesn't he? The last page, read with me. I can hop, spin, and tap. And notice the quotation marks again. Who is saying all that? Yes, Bill is saying all that. And what kind of mark is that? An excitement mark. We've got to read it with excitement. Okay, we're going to do something a little different this time. I'm going to go back and read the book. So look on the screen right now. And I'm going to stop and not say a word. And I want you guys to tell me what word I'm leaving out. Ready? Pam and Bob. What's that word? Hop past Bill. So when I stop, you're going to tell me the word, the missing word. Ready? Bill did not hop. Good job. Hop. What's the word? Bill said Pam. Good. When I pause and stop, you tell me the word. I am said, right, hot and Bill. Sam and Tom been past Bill. Good. Bill did not spin. Right. Spin, Bill said Sam. Good. I am still hot, said Bill. See, it's one of our sight words. Okay, dot and owl tap past Bill. Good job, you guys, filling in the missing words. Bill did not tap. Tap. Bill said dot. Good, I think I can almost hear you. Some of you are getting to be such good readers. I am hot, hot. Yes, hot, said Bill. I am not, said Bill. That was hot. Last page. You're going to fill in a bunch of words, so help me out. I can hop, spin, and tap. 
Very good. Now today, I want you to find one person to read your book to. And then after you've read your book, I have a line drawn on your screen. I want you to write the person's name that you read your book to.